is it a good idea to invest in stocks to create some cash flow? The answer could be yes, it could be no. The real question is, do you have the proper education to do day trading, let's say, forex trading, options, futures? Do you have the education? Number one. Number two, do you have the capital? Are you, are you able to lose all of the capital that you invest? Because that is a very well possibility. So if you have money to invest in stocks, you want to ask yourself first, am I willing to lose that money? Like, can you comfortably lose that money and still be okay financially? If the answer is yes, great. Excuse me, by all means, I think you'll be all right. But if that's your last 10 grand, if that's your last 5,000 bucks, if that's your last thousand bucks, if that's your last 20,000, if that's your emergency fund, if that's your savings that you're looking to allocate, if it's debt, oh, if it's debt that you're looking to invest in stocks and create some cash flow, I mean, we might want to pump the brakes on that just a little bit. Might want to pump the brakes and think, wait a minute, what if I invested 10,000 in myself, started reading books on the economy, on how the financial markets work, how Wall Street works, how major corporations, how these different markets correlate, international and domestic, right? I think that might be money well spent to position yourself to create some cash flow. I also feel like personally that the job that you're at, shoot, you can make a whole lot of cash flow at the job or career that you're at by simply promoting yourself, positioning yourself to get promoted. Nobody talks about this. Everybody talks about quitting your nine to five and, and starting a YouTube channel and creating content. It's like, wait a minute, that's great, no doubt, that's great. But what about, what about doctors? What about lawyers? What about engineers? People who love what they do? What if it's just a matter of going from an engineer to manager to CFO to COO? What if it's being an engineer and then being a manager of a team of engineers and then maybe being a regional manager of engineers and then maybe being a district or national, uh, a nationwide region of, of a statewide of engineers in the company and then you go from owning shares and stock in the, isn't that like faster, so to speak, than to have to split your time, work a 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 hour week job, and then try to start a YouTube channel or start try to start open up a Robinhood account and think you're an, an expert overnight on investing because you read five articles, right? I mean, what if you just stuck to your career and got a $10,000 raise, a $20,000 promotion? That's a hell of a lot more cash flow. Plus it's guaranteed you are now becoming a more, a, a bigger asset in the company that you're in. I mean, nobody talks about this, about just elevating in the position that you're in and getting more responsibility, making more money. And then say, okay, now that I got the more, now I got more cash flow, I'm in a better financial position, what can I learn that I like to do? Is it stocks? Is it real estate? Is it content creation? Is it marketing? Is it digital marketing? Is it a course? What can I learn? Should I write a book? Uh, do I like acting? Do I like modeling? Do I like photo shoot, Photoshop? I, what other tools can I add that is in alignment with the main career path that I'm in, you know, and, and go from there?